when a capacitor is connected to a circuit and current runs through it, it actually takes time before it is charged to a final value Q sub F. This figure shows a simple circuit for charging a capacitor. Now, a circuit that contains both resistor and capacitor is called an RC circuit. When the switch is closed, the EMF source will begin charging the capacitor. To derive an expression for the amount of charge that is delivered to the capacitor as a function of time, let's use Kirchhoff's rule. Assume that the current flows this way. And for the loop rule, let's draw an imaginary loop that goes this way. Using loop rule, we have the following working equation. Observe that this is negative because the presence of the capacitor here results to a decrease in overall current. Recall that the definition of capacitance is C equals charge over the potential difference of the capacitor. So essentially, I can use this expression to convert this entire expression in terms of charge and capacitance. Solving the equation for charge. We now have the following equation. Now in this equation, notice that as time approaches infinity, Q equals capacitance times EMF voltage 1 minus 0 equals CE. So it seems that this value CE is the final value of charge of the capacitor. In other words, this is the value of the charge when the capacitor is fully charged. Also, if I take the time derivative of this expression, I'll be able to derive an expression for the current running through this capacitor. The time derivative of charge is equal to the time derivative of this expression.
notice that in this expression, if I equate t equals 0, I would like to see the expression at initial time t equals 0. Then I'll end up with i equals e over r. So it seems that this expression is actually the initial current of the setup before capacitor charging takes place. So by the way, in RC circuits, the factor resistance times capacitor occurs many times and it actually dictates how fast a capacitor charge or discharge. And this constant is also known as time constant or relaxation time. Imagine we have a capacitor with an initial charge of Q sub 0. So in this diagram, this capacitor has a charge of Q sub 0. Now when the switch is closed, since there's no EMF, since there's no EMF source throughout the circuit, the capacitor will release its charge and it will begin discharging. Let's assume that the current flows this way and the loop goes in this direction. So using this loop, we have this expression. By the way, the capacitor is losing its stored energy in the process. That's why I attach a negative sign here. So solving for the amount of charge. Now, I will evaluate the integral from time equal 0 to t and this one from an initial charge q sub 0 to a charge q. Now, getting the time derivative of this expression, we can derive an expression for the current. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!